Okay, let's create a building pad within roads. Um, like most other things within roads, there's more than one way to do it. Probably my preferred method is to use the site modeler. But this is just a quick and easy technique to create a building pad using the standard surface commands. Okay, so we have our uh, building pad outline here. This is just a microstation element. There's no elevation to it or anything. Uh, let's check our elevations. We've got 625, 630, 635, 36, 37, and let's put it in at 640. Okay, so let's come over here to Surface, Design Surface, Generate Longitudinal Feature, and let's give it a name of Building Pad Interval. Let's use 1. Um, let's uncheck the Generate Graphics Only box so we can generate our feature. Uh, let's give it a name of Pad. And let's give it a style of, uh, yeah, let's go with brake line. That's as good as any. We'll select brake line. And yeah, we'll go ahead and triangulate. Uh, let's select our controls tab. And since we're not creating anything horizontally off of it, this will just stay at zero, zero. Our vertical method will select elevation, elevation. And, would we say 640? And once we select that, I'll click on Apply. And following the prompts in the bottom left, Identify Primary Element. I'll select Building Pad. Left click to Accept. Identify Reference Element. Select the Building Pad. Left click to Accept and identify beginning or reset for entire. I'll just reset for the entire perimeter. And identify location. I'll just left click anywhere out here. And you see our building pad feature has been created. And there's our new building pad surface. Okay, to tie this in with our existing surface, let's go up to surface, design surface, generate sloped surface. This will generate a surface between our building pad and the existing surface. So our source surface is going to be the building pad. You see that's selected by default and it's grayed out. Our intercept surface will be our existing surface. And our destination surface. Uh, let's just go ahead and select building pad. We'll leave that at building pad interval. Eh, let's go with two. Uh, our slope, uh, let's say a 1 to 5, say 20% slope, um, let me change that to 20%. Uh, these two, I'll leave these unchecked. Uh, our transverse slope feature, I'll, s I'll enable that box and let's go ahead and I'll name that slope and we'll give it a style of uh, yeah, let's say back slope and our catch point where we're going to intersect. I'll just name that toe and we'll give that a style of yeah, let's go with brake line and once we have those selected yeah, I'll go ahead and select triangulate surface and I'll go ahead and click Apply. Identify Element. I'll select Building Pad. Left click to Accept. I'll reset for the entire uh, perimeter. And there's our sloped surface. Identify Location. I'll just click out here anywhere. And there's our longitudinal features, our sloped surface features. And there's our uh, toe slope feature. So let's go ahead and tie this in to our existing surface. We'll come up here to Surface, Edit Surface, Merge Surfaces, and our original surface is going to be our existing surface. Our design surface is going to be our building pad. And our destination, let's call it 
finished. And I'll go ahead and click apply. I'll close that. I'll close that. And there's our finished surface. We can set that active. And I'm going to get a, get rid of a few of these elements here. Get rid of those. And let's go ahead and display our merged surface. Let's go to Surface, View Surface, Contours. Uh, we'll select our finished. Preferences already set. Interval 1, 4, click Apply. Click Close. And you see our surface has been created around the building and you can see it sloping down and merging with the existing surface which is still on. So I'm going to update the display. I'll go to Surface, Update. Let me select my existing surface. Let me turn the contours off. I'll close. And that looks better. Nice and clean. And you see our contours are sloped away from the building pad. And it merges right in with the existing surface. And that's how to create a quick and easy building pad with the surface commands.